What is going on everybody? Here we are doing a welcome back to the original FIFA 17 Road to Glory today and today this is episode number two. If you did miss the first one I'll put a link to that in a little or in the top right hand corner of the screen right now so you can check that out before you start watching this one. Highly advise it, it was an awesome start, definitely worth watching but today you're probably actually thinking what's going on because in the top corner you can see it says two wins, two draws, two losses. In the first episode we only played one game. Well, I recorded this earlier today and unfortunately, as you can see on the screen now, the footage just absolutely corrupted to all hell. But yeah, we won one game, drew two games in Division 10, but I decided instead of just scrapping it completely, I basically just doing episode two again, essentially. So what you're gonna see is in episode two, but you will have actually missed a few transfers, which I'll show you in a second. So we'll go through that in a minute, but if you do enjoy this video, enjoying this episode, enjoying this series, enjoying FIFA 17, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're around here, and comment some feedback. Always appreciated down below, but I'll show you what I essentially did in the previous episode two that will never be seen basically. We bought a few players, players that I thought might go up in value when the game actually releases, then those players are Mr. Aritz Adariz, who I've just bought actually. This wasn't um, this wasn't before episode two, this was after the episode two that didn't air because I thought, you know what, an 84 rated striker for 1300 coins, he has got to be worth more than that when the game comes out and plus he could actually be a good striker to use. So we've got Adarizzi, we also signed this guy here, 5 star, 5 star Charlie Masonda, we picked him up for 2400 coins again. I would imagine his value will increase when the game releases so I'll be able to make a tiny profit on him and we used him a lot in the last episode and he was absolutely freaking awesome so I'm hoping he can repeat that again. The other players that we signed are actually in the other team, I don't think there's anyone else in this squad now there isn't so I'll keep on doing it, I'll keep on going to squad, uh, it used to be down one to go to the uh, squad selector and it's not anymore, it's the very top one, it's just this one here. So in the other squad we went ahead and signed, I think that's squad two on if I'm not mistaken, yeah so in this one we've got Danny Ings already, I signed Brandon Barker, he's got eight 87 pace, he cost me 650 coins. I was hoping there'd be a time where there's not many of him on the market, so maybe that'd make his value increase. Whether that'll be the case or not, I don't know. You can see cheapest on the market is currently probably going to be about the same as the 650 coins, so there are quite a lot on the market actually, which is a bit of a shame. So hopefully we can make some money on him. Uh, we also signed Obiang, that was at the end of episode one, I believe. We also bought in Robert Hooth, who again, I signed for 900 coins. He has got to worth more than 900 coins, and he actually seems pretty decent as well. I think that is everybody that we signed. We also did a couple of the squad building challenges, got a couple of bronze packs, nothing too exciting. But other than that, you are now fully up to date. So I apologise that the original episode 2 was sort of so screwed up, but there's nothing I could do about it. It was just the Elgato being an absolute bitch. Today we're going to play three games again, hopefully get promoted out to Division 10 and uh, kickstart this road to glory, lads. So we're just about to go and search for our first game, lads. We're using the new Adaris team purely because Danny Ings is injured. We don't have any injury cards, so we're just going to uh, use this team and hopefully he can be recovered in a couple of games' time. I think this team should be pretty good on fitness anyway. Oh, actually, there's a couple that are low. The right winger, actually, our Charlie Masunder, of course, we've been using him quite a lot. I think I am actually going to use a fitness card on him because everyone else is fine. It is worth putting a fitness card on him, though, because if he's anything, body, anything like what he was like in the uh, in episode 2 previous recording, the man was absolutely absolutely incredible so hopefully even though he's on the right hand side of course he has got the five star weak foot hopefully he can perform again let's get into our first game and hopefully pick up three points here we go then lads game number one of episode number two point two technically and this guy has got a bbva team but he hasn't got anyone exceptional other than Kaylor Navas in goal he has got the new Barcelona striker Paco Alcacer I think that is but in the last recording we were playing some in incredible teams I think we played two teams with Lukaku in them we played a team that had like a lot of the lone players like Yahazu Dimara so this is nothing anywhere near close to the kind of team level we were playing before and we did okay so hopefully we can do the same again um this guy said he had a two bar connection shouldn't have accepted it it is very like it would seem completely frozen straight off the off what is that all about i played i have to run again drop inside he has please it's got to be get in one nil up lovely little move and we take the lead horrible log again Hor <laughs> horrible laggy game even shouldn't have accepted a two bar connection but we take the lead Beautiful little finish. I think it's Adarese. This is what I mean, man. For 1,300 coins for an 84 rated striker, you can't go wrong. It's a great finish. Slots it past the keeper, and we take an early 1 0 lead. God, cheap work to give away that was. Let's hope he doesn't do anything from it. Corner seemed very strong this year, please. Oh, what was I saying? Corner seemed very strong this year. There's nothing you can do. Keepers in no man's land. Nods it in. 
And we're pegged back to 1-1. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We've got another injury, man. This match right now is killing us. It's Adderese as well. That is an absolute joke. Adderese and the right back both lost in the same game. What are the odds? Go on, Campbell. Go on, Campbell. You've got the fresh legs. Come on, Campbell. He's got the fresh legs. Come on. Come on. Dinky back stick. Please. Oh, how is there no one there? I played Futre. Come on. I played Futre again. Futre's going all the way. Please. For oh, my God. The block. Campbell. Someone just put it in. Campbell. Second chance. Get in there, lads. 2-1. We have been knocking on that door for so goddamn long. I didn't think it was going to come, but 78th minute, Campbell, the substitute, forced on through the injury, ironically, falls to him, little fake shot, hammers it across the keeper. Thank God for that. We're 2-1 up. Hopefully this time we can hold on and he doesn't score another bloody jammy corner. Come on, blow your whistle, ref. He has indeed blown his whistle. 2-1 win, lads. Much, much deserved that was. We absolutely battered him. It could have been so many more than two. He only scores from a corner. I hate the corner system this year. But when you're defending it, when you're attacking, it's so good. But when you're defending, it's so difficult to win the headers sometimes. You'll see from the stats in a second, we absolutely dominated. And that's does secure promotion. We get three more. No, we're two points off from getting the championship, I believe. Let's just find that in a second. But you can see, this guy had eight shots. We had 12. Deserved the win. And you can see that puts us on to 11 points. And we need just one more for the title. We can do that next game, lads. Come on. So lads, we're going to jump into the second game of today's episode now. If we win this, or draw in fact, we do take the championship. There are a couple of fitness problems. Hoffman at right wing and Campbell are a bit lower than the rest because they came on as subs in the last game to replace people that got injured. But hopefully, what's the problem here? Vasquez and Futre, I need to take them off the bench. I'll do that, then we'll find our second game, lads. Here we go then, lads. It's a bit of a concern because he had nice kits. He has in fact also got a pretty nice team. He's got a lead in the line. Uh, Janssen, I think that is. He's got Mane, he's got Lalana, he's got Son. Very nice VPL team. I expected it to be because when people have the nice kits, you sort of think if you can afford a nice kit, you've probably got a nice team as well. So this is going to be a tough game, lads. Second game, we only need a point though, and we are the champions of Division 10. Oh, that's poor boy. Poor area to get the ball. Are we going to lay this off to the edge? We're going to crack this. Smash that Campbell. Oh, it's unlucky. First effort, not a bad one. Oh, my lord, the struggle. The struggle is real. We need to really get a grip here. Come on, get the ball. Oh, he's dropped me there. Oh my god, what a goal, Son. Great goal, look, completely committed. He took complete advantage, he had a lot to do from there. Son is a player I'd like to bring in, actually. If we can afford Son, I feel like he's going to get an inform next week, so his price I got because he won't be on the market as much. But he's just absolutely destroyed us with him there. 1-0 down, fully deserved. We haven't been in the game yet. Sweat it. Oh, it's gone in. Get in there. I didn't think that was going to go in. This has been an incredibly tough game. We are not getting a lucky, but we made the most of that chance there. This guy's team is so much quicker and stronger than ours. It is absolutely crazy, but we sneak in an equaliser. Not sure who's put that in. It's actually Mr. Pedro Obiang, who banged him in in the last episode as well. What a sign he's proving to be. Oh no, watch that ball in the middle. Watch that ball in the middle. That's the one. God damn it. It was so obvious straight from the kickoff of the second half, but we couldn't stop it. God damn it, man. 2 1 down. It was such hard work to get back into this game as well, and that was such an easy to spot ball, but we just couldn't get in the way of it. Good finish, and we're 2 1 down. Oh, that's a great goal. Can't do anything about that. Great switch of play, great ball in. 3 1 down now. Adam Lalana has been really good for him, but the fact of the matter is he's a good player with a much stronger team than us. Always going to be a struggle. I can't see us coming back into this one, lads. Great finish, great move. That was fair play. There it is, lads. Full time. Really disappointed. First loss of the series. Wasn't a lot we could have done there, really. We had some real good chances, to be fair, but very, very strong team and a good player. If we're going to take in our chances, we might have just about been able to salvage a draw, but that was a very tough game. But positives, we still need one point to get promotion as champions. You can see... He had, we had more shots, man. He just had such a strong, fast team. We just got absolutely bullied for 90 minutes there, really. But hopefully we can get that one point we need in the next game. Fingers crossed. Right, lads. What team is he rocking up with? Final game of the episode. He looks like a really decent team, actually. He's got uh, Andre Gray leading the line. I think it's Nkudu left wing, who's very, very quick. He's got Barrow right wing again, very pacey. Uh, he's got a, it's a very standard BPL team, but it's a very OP looking one. It's got to be said. That's really well played. Come on, Masonda. Punish him now. Spin inside. Great play. Spin inside again. 
Oh, Masunda, that's filth. One more. He has. Masunda, please. Oh, no. What a goal that would have been. Masunda again. Masunda's having a great time here. Come on, Masunda. Keep on going. Oh, he's absolutely now. I mean, is tearing them apart. Such a good player. That's Bellerin there struggling to keep up with him. Absolutely crazy. No, it's a great move. Oh, it's a great goal. Lovely pass and move. Dabbing on me. We should have scored with uh, Masunda earlier, man. We've been all over this guy. Gets one chance and he takes it. It's a great finish by Rami. Nice move. Oh, what a finish. Danny Ings, I thought it was going wide. Get in there. Instant reply. I went super quiet there. Danny Ings, great touch. I actually thought he dragged it wide. That is a superb finish. I was in the zone right there, but... I'm going to say it again, what a finish that is, it's a great first touch here, look, takes it away, then a big touch, I didn't think he'd expect it and he didn't, what a finish that is, keeping no chance straight back in the game, superb. Oh, tap him, he's putting in, oh no, 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 oh, thank God for that, but he has got a corner last minute, we only need a point to get promoted, don't forget, this has gone down to the wire, we've done well in this episode because we're planning it such good, oh my God. Talk about stumbling over the line, lads. We've just, to get, just about got promoted as champions. This is so difficult right now because everyone that's on early access in the high divisions have got such good teams because the kind of people that play early access, people like me, are people that have invested money in the game and their teams are just like sensational compared to ours. I mean, it's not an incredible team, but it's so much better than ours. It's ridiculous. We've done well to get a draw there. Sealed promotion. Got champions, 2.5k, and I think now is time where we need to perhaps sell some of our players and build a really good 100 chemistry sweaty team. So lads, that game is going to end off today's episode. Like I said at the start, sorry about the mishap with the previous episode and it all being glitched out. Not a lot I could have done about it, but still we've got promotion to Division 9 in today's episode, which it doesn't sound like much of an achievement, but when you consider the team we've got, the teams we've been coming up against and the quality of opposition right now on FIFA 17, I'm absolutely ecstatic. We did have 4,000 coins. I'm actually currently bidding on a uh, Hyungmin Son. I did say I wanted to try and get one. Currently going for around 2k, we've got a bit of 1.8 on this one right here, and I think, lads, if you're on the early access, if you can get him for around 2k, one, he's in good form in real life, two, he may well have it in form next week, he has got to be going up from 1.8k when the game finally comes out next week, or next Thursday, I think the, the game comes out this Thursday, because you'll probably be seeing this on a Monday, but yeah, definitely someone that's worth an investment if you're on the early access, in my opinion, 5 star week foot as well, awesome player, but I'm nattering on now, thank you very much for watching this episode, once again, if you did enjoy it, leave a thumbs up on it, subscribe if you're new, and I will speak to you all in the next episode. Have a good night, lads. Nidge out. Yo, he's Nidge plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free, it costs nothing. Peace.